Good evening, everyone. Our proposed idea is to extend the shelf life of yogurt using natural bioactives. Yogurt is a dairy food favorite and a nutrient-dense food that delivers macronutrients such as proteins and fat, and also micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Increasing demand for this product has increased the market size this past decade, as seen in the graph here. Yogurt is a product that has been traditionally consumed fresh, and it has a shelf life of about 30 to 45 days. So the challenge focus area that we have chosen to address here is the enhancement of yogurt shelf life. The shelf life of yogurt is limited by two main factors. One is the organoleptic properties, such as appearance, taste, and flavor of the yogurt. As the yogurt is stored for a longer period of time, excessive fermentation takes place in the yogurt, and this leads to the generation of bitter peptides and other off flavors that start to hinder with the product taste and flavor. The other limiting factor, which is also the important one, is the yeast and mold contamination. Yeast contamination commonly arises from fruit preparations added to the yogurt or from post-processing contamination from the plant environment. This contamination has been addressed using chemical preservatives such as sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate. The consumer demand for clean label products has challenged the yogurt manufacturers to find alternative green strategies in order to meet this demand. One of the definitions of clean label product that consumers define is that it should not include names that sound like chemicals or e-numbers. So our go-to solution for this problem is to find alternative green strategy or use biopreservatives instead of sodium benzoate or potassium sulfate. National bioactives extracted from plant products has been recognized as a green strategy and a safer alternative to synthetic chemical preservatives. So to that end, we identified two main natural bioactives, namely carvacrol and thymol, which has antifungal and yeast inhibitory properties. Studies have shown that very low concentrations of this extract, around 50 microliters, inhibited yeast growth. Carvacrol and thymol are also researched for their potential therapeutic properties. Our proposed idea deals only with the antimicrobial properties of these compounds and not therapeutic effects, but it is good to note down the point here that if these compounds have an effect on our body, it's going to be beneficial and not harmful like the chemical preservatives. The value proposition for the proposed idea can be dictated here for the consumers as well as the yogurt manufacturers. For the consumers, it meets their clean label demand, reduces food waste as the shelf life of this product is extended, and also improves the organoleptic properties by slowing down the fermentation of product and thereby reducing the off flavors produced due to the fermentation. The value proposition for the yogurt manufacturers is that they are now exposed to new target markets like Europe, where preservatives are still being used in their product. The other point is that these natural bioactives encourages the use of other products within the dairy industry. Bioactive compounds are highly lipid-based, so once extracted, they are prone to oxidation and degradation. So these compounds are usually nano-encapsulated using materials such as whey proteins or sodium caseinates. The extraction of bioactives has been done using pressurized liquid extraction or supercritical fluid extraction. They're very highly soluble in clean solvents, such as ethanol, and as much as 900 milligrams per gram of extract can be obtained using this extraction method. Due to this reason, we believe that our proposed idea is environmentally friendly and also sustainable. There are also many other international suppliers of bioactives within the country, so sourcing these bioactives will not be an issue. The objective of our execution plan is to study the feasibility of replacing chemical preservatives with natural bioactives to inhibit yeast and mold growth. We plan on doing it by using the three different studies listed here. The challenge study here focuses on evaluating the effectiveness of bioactives to inhibit yeast and mold growth, and the descriptive sensory analysis and consumer acceptance testing deals with testing the sensory attributes and consumer acceptability of the product. Our challenge study is designed to answer the question, are the identified natural bioactives effective enough to inhibit yeast and fungal growth? We plan on executing this by identifying and isolating yeast and fungi and preparing a cocktail out of the isolated yeast and fungi. A still type yogurt can be manufactured and around 100 microliters of cocktail mix can be added to the product with or without the bioactives in the concentrations mentioned here. We can then store these products at four and seven degrees Celsius until enumeration at the mentioned time points during storage. Enumerating the yeast and fungal counts at these different time points can help us elucidate the growth of yeast and mold and the bioactives inhibitory effect on them. As the shelf life of yogurt is also limited by its change in organoleptic properties,
properties, the effect of chemical preservatives and natural bioactives on the sensory attributes of yogurt will have to be evaluated. The first part of a sensory study answers the question, is there a difference in sensory attributes of yogurt between added chemical and natural preservatives? We plan to answer this question by performing a descriptive sensory analysis on yogurts made with added chemical and natural preservatives. A descriptive sensory analysis is usually performed by trained panelists, and they rate the intensity of the product attributes based on a QDA scale, which ranges from low to higher intensity on a scale of 0 to 15 as shown here. The sensory attributes to be evaluated will include visual, texture, and flavor attributes. Using this analysis, yogurts can be evaluated at 0, 30, and 60 data points. The second part of our sensory analysis answers two questions. One, does the added natural bioactives hinder with the yogurt taste? To answer this question, we plan on doing a sensory shelf life estimation based on the consumer liking data. In order to gather this data, we plan on using a nine-point hedonic scale technique, and the consumers would be asked to indicate their liking and perception of relevant visual, texture, and flavor attributes of the product. The other question helps answer the consumer acceptance of natural bioactives labeling. For this, we would use a preference test and ask the consumers to indicate their preference of the product with and without the context of the preservatives. To summarize, natural bioactives can potentially replace chemical preservatives. It meets the consumer demand of the lean label and reduces food waste. It improves organoleptic properties of yogurt and also creates new target markets for Wisconsin yogurt manufacturers. With that, I would like to thank our mentor, Adam Brock, for his guidance and for asking all the right questions. We would also like to thank Dr. John Lucy for his inputs and Lacey, Heidi, and Dairy Innovation Hub for organizing the student challenge. With that, I would like to take any questions you might have.